বিএটিজের উনত্রিশতম দুর্গা পূজা দু হাজার আঠেরো আয়োজন শুরু আয়োজনের ব্যস্ততা চলছে সবার প্রসাদের প্যাকেট তৈরি হচ্ছে সবাই খুব ব্যস্ত এমন ব্যস্ততা চলছে হ্যাঁ কিছু বক্তব্য এই টেবিলের খুব ব্যস্ত রঞ্জনদার এই যে দিয়ে চলছে পঞ্জলি ও শ্রী দুর্গায় নম এবার হচ্ছে হাত জোর করে প্রণাম প্লিজ and welcoming mr and mrs trivastava will be the senior most member of uh, bengal association of tokyo in japan uh, mrs rita kaur <laughs> ম্যাগাজিন to release Anjali magazine which is our flagship magazine for the occasion. This year is no exception. Um, before we inaugurate the magazine, I would kindly request the editorial team of Anjali magazine who have been relentlessly working uh, on this for past few months to come over to the stage please. And now for the inauguration of the magazine. Kitu <laughs> and finally if i could request mr srivastava to say a few words uh, to our com community here good morning to you all आप सभी को दुर्गा पूजा की शुभकामनाएं एम एस की ओर से एज यू नो दैट एम्बेसडर श्री राम चुनाव कुड नॉट कम फॉर दिस इवेंट बीइंग बिजी विद द फोर्थ कमिंग विजिट ऑफ द प्राइम मिनिस्टर विद इन अ वीक टाइम सो ही आस्क मी टू रीड हिज मैसेज व्हिच इज आल्सो देयर इन दैट यू कैन सी आई जस्ट रीड दिस मैसेज व्हिच इज आल्सो ए मैसेज फ्रॉम द एमएस Durga Puja with its universal message of the triumph of good over evil is one of the most widely celebrated festivals in India. I am happy to learn that Bengali Association of Tokyo, Japan, BATJ,
know, lots of messages coming. So I have to. <laughs> I'm happy to learn that Bengali Association of Tokyo Japan is organizing the Dojo Puja Festival for the 29th year in Tokyo on 21st October 2018, that is today. Not only does this celebration give an opportunity to the younger generation to carry forward our Indian traditions, it also provides a wonderful occasion to introduce to our Japanese friend India's rich cultural uh, heritage. I would like to congratulate the Bengali Association of Tokyo Japan for the successful organization of this festival and for publishing their annual multilingual magazine, Anjali, which we just inaugurated, uh, which is a wonderful platform for literary expression by the community. I convey greetings of the season to all those who are participating in this festival. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Srivastava. Now, um, uh, we'll, we'll continue with the program. Uh, Prasad is being distributed outside and we'll be we'll, uh, announcing the lunch program shortly. So please stay with us. Thank you.
afternoon everyone. On behalf of Bengali Association of Tokyo in Japan, I, Nandini Mazumdar, and my co-hosts Keiko Chattopadhyay and Chandrima Kundu welcome you all to today's cultural extravaganza to celebrate the 29th year of Durga Puja celebration by this association. On a lighter note, according to the Indian calendar, this five-day celebration started on the 15th of October and ended on the 19th of October this year when Goddess Durga had to return to the heavens. But she has responded to our prayers and was kind enough to defer her departure for a brief visit to bless us all and all the devotees here in Tokyo. Let us express our profound gratitude and our highest regard to her. Joy Madhurga. A small background to this popular celebration and its timing. It is believed that the creator, Brahma, Vishnu and Shiva let out their energy from their bodies to create Durga to save the goddess, gods. In Ramayana, Lord Rama goes to Lanka to rescue his abducted wife, Sita, from the custody of Ravana, the king of demons in Lanka. Before going for the battle, Rama sought the blessings of Devi Durga. He came to know that Goddess Durga will be pleased only if she is offered 108 blue lotuses. After traveling the whole world, Rama could gather only 107 of them. He finally decided to offer one of his eyes which resembled the blue lotuses. Goddess Durga was pleased with his devotion and blessed him and appeared before him. The battle started and Ravana was finally killed. Rama celebrates his success by worshipping Lord Goddess Durga. This was hence continued. The word Akal means untimely and the word Bodhun literally means worship or invocation. It is called so because the worship of Durga is performed in the month of Ashwin. Here, the worship is carried out in Sharat Ritu, where instead of the originally, originally it was uh, celebrated in Basanta Ritu. On to our first presentation of the day, Agumani song. Agumani depicts the return of Parvati to home of her parents in rural Bengal as a daughter. To celebrate the homecoming of Durga or Parvati, we commence today's program with three songs with the objective of welcoming Ma Durga. Over to you, Keiko san. Minasama, konnichiwa. Taihen o matase itashimashita. ただいまより東京ベンガル協会主催によりますドルガプジャ29周年カルチャープログラムをご覧いただきたいと思います本日司会を務めさせていただきますのはランディーニ・モジュンタンと私ケイコチャットパダイそしてチャンドリーマ・
女流学者は「アカルボーダン」と呼ばれていますラーマヤナでラーマがラバーナ魔王との激しい戦いに参加した時女神ドゥルガからの勝利の恵みの祝福を,祝福を求めたことから今の時期にプジャが行われ始めました「明る」は時期がずれていることを意味し「ボーダン」は「数回」または「呼び出し」を意味します「アシュインの月に女神ドゥルガを崇拝することは従来の礼拝の期間「ボションとリトゥ」「春の間」の代わりに「ショロットリトゥに礼拝が行われるためこのように呼ばれていますこれから最初のプログラム「アゴモニ」「パルバティ」つまり女神ドゥルガを迎え入れる歌「アゴモニ」をお送りします BATJ のメンバーによる「アゴモニ」を祝う3曲の歌を続けてお聴きくださいドシテルドモンシェシテルパロンバロティオプランマハカベモルカタ অধর্মের বিনাশ করে ধর্ম সংস্থাপনার্থে ভগবান যুগে যুগে আবির্ভূত হয়েছেন সত্য যুগে শ্রী রামচন্দ্র লঙ্কার মহারণে রাক্ষস রাবণের বিনাশার্থে মহামায়া দুর্গার আশীর্বাদ প্রার্থনা করেছেন বসন্তের দেবীকে আহ্বান করেছেন শরতে অকাল বোধনে রত হয়েছে মধু কৈ ডবাচি মধু কৈ ডবাদালহিষী সমূলিণ চন্ড মুন্ড মাদনী রক্ত বীজাশনি শক্তি শুম্ভ বিশুম্ভ কৈতদালী হে মহামায়া হে দশ প্রহরণ ধারিণী মহাশক্তি রূপিণী হে মা দুর্গা জাগ তুমি জাগ
नंदिनी उमा विश्व बिनोदिनी शुक्रदायिनी बहुरूपधारिनी शक्ति मोई दुलो भुलो आज देवी दूर कर बंदोनाएं मुखरी दो
audience. With God is Durga's blessings, we move forward to the next presentation for this evening, which is jazz music, played on saxophone by Nishan Chanda. Nishan probably does not need any introduction here as he has been performing on the BATJ stage since the age of three. And now, a senior in high school, Nishan will be going to university next year. And we from BATJ wish him all the best for his future. Nishan would be, would be accompanied on the keyboard by Kaisuku, Kaisuke Kamata, on the guitar by Zach Zhu and Nishant himself would play tenor saxophone. The songs they are going to play are Autumn Leaves, Blue Boss and Isn't She Lovely. Over to you Keiko-san. Nishant-Chanda-san-no-saxophone Kousuke Kamata-san-no-keyboardo Jack-Zoo-san-no-elekigitar-o-otatoshi-kudasai
thank you, Boris, for the wonderful performance. You now have the blessings of Goddess Durga and the good wishes of the, of the August audience.